Authorities in western Pennsylvania have charged 11-year-old Jordan Brown as an adult. The boys will have one trial together in adult court. The length of his sentence is also the length of his life. They're not old enough to drive, drink, or vote, but in America, kids as young as seven years old can be tried as adults. When you hold the youth accountable the same manner and fashion in which you hold an adult, that's it's just not right and it's not fair. Michael Kemp knows what it's like to be a kid locked up in an adult prison. You never know what one of them adults might do to you, so you just be feeling like, man, what's going to happen to me? He was locked up for the first time when he was 12 years old here at Oak Hill Juvenile Correctional Facility. Oak Hill is not, wasn't, in my eyes, it wasn't designed to rehabilitate you. It was designed for punishment. You know, having barbed wires around the gate and it's just preparing you for more criminal type of lifestyle. Like most kids that serve time as a juvenile in the U.S., he got into trouble again. At 17, he was charged with armed robbery as an adult. He says for a kid, being in an adult prison is a constant struggle to survive. They know how it is when you come off the bus and know that you don't have anything or know that you don't, you're just far away from home. So they pull you in. But in reality, they're trying to get a favor out of you for a sexual act, you know, and then you get victimized or raped, you know, and then you become someone's person. You know? He was spared from sexual abuse, but many kids aren't so lucky. In fact, one in five victims of sexual violence in jails and prisons are under the age of 18. Youth and adult facilities are 36 times more likely to commit suicide than those in the juvenile system. On any given day in America, 10,000 children are held in adult jails and prisons. Most of them have never been convicted of a crime. And kids are fair game for solitary confinement. Kemp says for five months, he spent 23 and a half hours per day locked up alone. I could have went crazy in that, in that cell for that long and just holding someone in the cell with nothing to do for that long. Critics slammed the practice of putting kids in adult jails as cruel and unusual punishment. They are less capable of understanding the consequences of their behavior. Their development is incomplete. And that's why the Supreme Court struck down the death penalty for juveniles in 2005. But today, the United States is the only country that sentences kids to life without parole. It was viewed as a substitute uh, to the ultimate penalty. There are now 2,500 inmates that were sentenced to die in jail as children. This is a peculiarly American phenomenon in which we uh, tend to believe that the uh, harsher the penalties, the greater the public safety payoff. Kids should instead be rehabilitated, says Lubau. That's the focus at Washington, D.C.'s newly opened New Beginnings. Now, walking into a classroom at New Beginnings is much different from walking into a classroom at other juvenile detention facilities. Now, this is considered to be a model facility. It's a system based on rewards rather than punishment. And experts say that this system is much more effective at rehabilitating youth to become productive members of society. But unfortunately, places like this in the U.S. are rare. Here, kids are given a second chance, but in most prisons throughout the country remain America's forgotten children. Hope for the future gone at an early age. In Washington, Liz Wall, RT.